morning and the community is invited to help those affected by bleeding disorders. The Nevada chapter of the National Hemophilia Foundation is holding a really cool event. It's a walk in 5k next month and here with us this morning is Jamie Coots and her son Connor who has a bleeding disorder. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. And Connor we should mention just started kindergarten and looks fantastic this morning. Connor, thanks for coming in so early. Mm -hmm. um, Jamie, can we ask you first a little bit about his condition and how you found out about it? Yeah, absolutely. Connor has moderate borderline severe hemophilia A. We found out at the age of two, he had two um, ear bleeds that were like, why did that happen? Uh, his pediatrician ran a blood test and it came back that he has a factor eight deficiency hemophilia A. Not a lot of children have this. Um, what happens is kids with hemophilia A or any type of bleeding disorder cannot clot properly in their bodies. So when he has an episode where he has a bruise or anything like that, he could bleed inside his joints or his muscles for long periods of time until I give him his infusion, which replaces the missing protein in his body known as factor eight. So how does that impact him every day? So we have to just watch him. Mm -hmm. He can play like a normal child, go to school like a normal child. It's just we have to monitor, monitor him closely. If he falls, I have to know where, how hard he hit himself. We watch for swelling in his body. Mm -hmm. And that means there's most likely a bleed. Mm -hmm. And so we have to infuse him right away. And he does get infused twice a week mm -hmm. to prevent bleeding. And just uh, as an example, he lost a tooth last week. Kids, That's exciting, yeah. Connor. <laughs> you show? Oh my oh, goodness. Good. And the it's already tooth, coming in. Yeah, the other tooth is coming in. So kids with bleeding disorders tend to bleed more externally mm -hmm. as well. Um, a child without hemophilia, the tooth might bleed for 10 or 20 minutes. In Connor's case, it bled for nearly two hours. Oh, wow. And so I took him out of school and infused him at home, and right away, within 10 minutes, the bleeding stopped. Okay. So. Well, and Jamie, we were talking about how this is rare, which makes education really important. And just watching this, there is something you can do. There's a really neat event that's happening next month. Absolutely. Tell us really briefly about it. So it is the Hemophilia Walk. It's at Floyd Lamb Park at Tool Springs. Uh -huh. Um, everybody's welcome. Uh, if you want to know more information, go to www.hfnv.org and you can go ahead and look on our website for more events as well because we have events throughout the year that are really special to these kids. Every penny helps. There's, a f there's it's lots of fundraising. There's a camp that kids go to when they reach the age of seven and it's $800 to take one child. Wow. And so it's really helpful for the community to step in and just fundraise. No amount is too small or too large for mm -hmm. these kids. Yes, and what a great camp to go to and get that support. Again, this is happening September 21st. Uh, that'll be a lot of fun. It's going to be fun. Thank yeah. you so much for coming in, Jamie. Thank and you. thank you, Connor. Thank you for coming thank in this morning. You. Have a good day at school, okay?